we teach men about masculine, well, the lack of teaching men about how men learn about masculinity is they either are self-loathing because they're male and they have a, a systemic education as why they're bad or why they like boys and boys need to be good humans. You guys remember that? I'll bring those, I'll bring those up if you want me again. So men aren't good humans unless they can be the, to be a better human, to be a better man is to be more like a chick, to be more like a woman. I got a, I got the, you guys already know this. I, um, I got quoted or I got, uh, I got actually had an article written about me when I was on Dr. Phil. And I mentioned that um, the only time we celebrate masculinity is when we, when we see an example of a man acting feminine, then we say that's positive. Then we, that's not toxic. Dress up in a tutu. Dance with your boy who's also dressed up like a little girl and go and dance to the theme from Frozen. That's celebrated. What is not celebrated is guys who actually act conventionally masculine. And there are traits that are attributable to a map to human males. That's it. But can't women do those things too? Yeah, they could if you believe in the blank slate. If you believe if you believe in social constructionism as your religion, whether you realize your epistemology, thank you very much. Uh, the problem here is. Is that you can apply that's this, this, by the way, will be this is the subjectivity that I was telling you about before we you can eat like demonizing masculinity. That's easy. We can make we can point to that all day. But when you subjectify it, subjectivize when you subjectivize it. You make it relative. Like I got, I got put on the spot. You'll never, I don't know if they, this may be someday, this will actually show up in the second part two of the Dr. Phil interview. I, which I'm not really optimistic that it's going to ever happen, but there was a section, there was a part in there where I was asked by the, the, uh, the audience, um, which all of those are planted questions, by the way, um, about, uh, you know, what, what was a real man? What was a real woman, right? Do we, real women wear dresses? I'm like, oh God, it's so, that, it, it, that's a fucking minefield because of exactly this subjectivity. Well, I'm a woman and I'm wearing pants right now. I decided that I am. Well, that's an example of the subjectiveness with which we want to apply to gender. We think gender is a social construct. It is not. It is a biological construct. It is what it is. There are only two genders. There are only two sexes. Would you like me to show you the, the data sets and the research that has been done on all of this? I can go again. We can go back to the four laws of behavioral genetics. Same thing. I can go and bring that up and, and ride that to glory. But nobody has the time and nobody has the patience and nobody has the intellectual. It's intellectual lethargy. But the problem here is that you can say, well, women lift weights, too. Women can be firemen. Yeah, they can. If you turn them into guys. Yeah, they can. If you stack them up with trend and, you know, build them up so that they can get the muscle mass of the average dude. Yeah, you could do that. Sure. With the very rare, exceptionally few women that, yeah, it can be done. Does that mean that? The, and you know what? They're masculine. Because that's what we reserve for the masculine traits and masculine behaviors, masculine ways of thinking. They just describe this in Joe Rogan. Oh, guys want to get laid, right? Guys, guys are more interested in sex. Guys are more interested in things. Women are more interested in people. I, I mean, if, if you want me to quote like a Steven Pinker, I could do that all day long. But you can always say, well, here's this woman. Here's an example of this woman who likes things. Yeah, because she's been conditioned to like those things or natural pre, you know, predilections or natural proclivities would not direct her to engineering. That's why it's so bloody difficult to get women into STEM fields because it just doesn't appeal. If you would like me to show you the call of the, of the women who do graduate and the men that actually are graduating from college, you can see that the majors that they that they select reflect their 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 values or their, their, uh, their biological predilections. So yeah, but this, this is a great quote. Thank you for this, by the way, you know what you get, you're going to give you this. You can say anything is masculine and anything is feminine. Actually, you can't even really say anything is feminine because if you go and you say like um, anything could be masculine, but only certain things could be feminine, right? Because we're living in a, per a 
we're living in a society where we want to encourage the feminine in men. 